at NYU, we have actually also embarked on uh, several clinical trials to evaluate immunotherapeutics in lung cancer. The frontline trial is actually a big national study, which is a randomized study to look at chemotherapy versus immunotherapy in people with non-small cell lung cancer have never been treated before. Uh, and that would be for us to be able to tell whether immunotherapy up front is better than chemotherapy, the standard treatment. The study will be, uh, the chemotherapy will be the investigator's choice. Uh, so you get to pick what chemotherapy you're going you're gonna to give your patient, and you're going to compare that with uh, the anti-PD-1 antibody. We have also opened uh, a third-line trial with a compound that is made by a company called Metamune, uh, and that's another uh, immunotherapy. It's an anti, another anti-PD uh, compound. Uh, and so we wanted to cover the landscape of lung cancer from being previously untreated to being third-line with immunotherapy given this great promise. As far as homegrown ideas, um, we're actually opening a very interesting trial of an immunotherapeutic agent called ipilimumab, which is, uh, that agent is already approved and on the market for melanoma. And this is an antibody that activates what's called cytotoxic T lymphocyte, CTLA-4. And, and what we're doing with that is we are treating patients with metastatic lung cancer. We are picking one metastatic site and we are giving radi radiotherapy to that site in conjunction with this antibody and seeing if we can use the combination of radiation with the antibody to enhance the immune response to the cancer. And this is based on a patient experience we've had here. Uh, one of my patients who um, had heavily pretreated lung cancer with chemotherapy uh, I did exactly that. I got him um, the CTLA-4 antibody through uh, compassionate use, and I radiated a liver metastasis, and he's had a complete response for a year. So we put together a protocol to study this formally in lung cancer.